normally, uh, with a celebrity guest, we start with kind of like a, a gentle clip to try and break them in. But Tiger, I think you can take this. You've probably had a lot of innuendo in your life. So uh, we cross to a mixed martial arts fight on American TV. Now, this fight has two commentators for the TV. And while one of them is focused on the game, the other seems to be watching something quite different. You watch one, I'll watch the other, Michael. I'll watch Minus. Yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> I know. Feel free to get him back. Oh, right. At any point. I know, I know, I know, I know, I yeah. I know, it's only a matter of time. I know, I understand the sign language. You watch one, I'll watch the other, Michael. <laughs> I didn't even play the whole thing, huh? You watch one, I'll watch the other, Michael. I'll watch Minus. That's a fight between Zach Chavez and Danny Minus there. More water, please. No, oh, he's still full of water. Here we go. Oh, no, you're not recycling, are you? Do remember to spray. Uh, not in the bin, at Chris's face. Back to the fight. Anus is relaxed here, Pat. <laughs> yeah, straight in the head. <laughs> we'll, re, uh, we'll return to that uh, fight a bit later on to find oh. out how my anus is doing, but at the moment... Anus is relaxed here. Good. <laughs> More water, please. Nice big gulp of water there. Mm. Don't be shy. Don't mm -hmm. be shy. I'll watch Minus. <laughs> no hands. That's it. Come on. No hands, please. If it's going to flood out, let it flood out. Okay, over to last night's Coronation Street now. And our Deirdre seems to be getting more and more adventurous with age. Oh, love. Oh, Rob. Come here, let's have a three-way. <laughs> Deirdre! <laughs> oh, I'm oh. soaked. I know. That's the way it goes. Deirdre Barlow there. You can see my then. nipples. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. It's totally see-through. You can actually see them. <laughs> Wicked. Deirdre Barlow there. Come here, let's have a three-way. Three-way hug there for Deirdre. <laughs> Thank you, Luke, for spotting that one. Any more clips? Scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. Send an email. Tell us what channel, what they said, and a rough time. OK, now our favourite clip from Tuesday now. More water, please. And it's BBC Solent presenter Sam Fraser. Mm -hmm. Now, she had a very busy weekend. So, that's... um. That was a, quite a new experience. The wind in my hair wrapped my legs around Jonathan. He took me up the bypass and we had an amazing, uh, very brief uh, adventure. <laughs> uh, Sam there, who had a motorbike ride down south. I mean, in, on the south coast. Yeah. Oh, it'd be a great job finding them, wouldn't it? <laughs> wouldn't it? He does this twice a week, Tiger, can you imagine? <laughs> Water, please? Right, let's see how Minus is doing. Minus is relaxed here, Pat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just wanted an update. <laughs> okay. Now, water. Got water, mate. Mm-hmm. Yep. Over to the mixed martial arts again. It sounds like this would be quite painful. Minus getting beaten on. What's the back of the head? Oh. <laughs> There's lots from that fight, isn't there, today? <laughs> Listen to his little laugh. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. Ty, you might want to fill up even more, to fill up the cheeks even more there, just to retaliate. Now, thank you to uh, one of our American listeners who unearthed this new stash of clips that we're playing, by the way. I would thank you by name, but I accidentally deleted the email. <laughs> Sorry, won't do it again. Get back in touch and I'll read out. A classic from the Antiques Roadshow now. And I really don't think it was a good idea for Fiona Bruce to be discussing this sort of thing on that show. People's grandparents watch this. Hannah Forty couldn't afford to drink this bar water, but she was the town's pumper, handing it out to paying visitors. <laughs> That's one, of, that's one of my favourites. But she was the town's pumper, handing it out to paying visitors. Oh. <laughs> Tiger's fine. So let's continue to last night's 10 o'clock news now on Inyo Nabingo. And reporter James Landale 
with news on what big-name politicians like to get up to in the evening. For years, Boris Johnson has dodged questions about his future. But today, the Mayor of London finally threw his hat, or at least his helmet, into the... <laughs> <laughs> Into the into the Westminster Ring as well. Or at least his helmet into the Westminster Ring. Juan Carlos sent us that one. <laughs> That's a good one. one. Scott Mills at BBC.co.uk. Or at least his helmet into the Westminster Ring. <laughs> okay, water please. You're watching, listening to Tiger Drew Honey on Innuendo Bingo. Loads of people watching for the first time today. Now, who remembers Danny Maedas? Maedas is relaxed here, Pat. Yeah. You know the... <laughs> you know the MMC fighter? Maedas getting beaten on... Yeah, so... Anyway, we pick up the fight at eight minutes in. And I've got to tell you, things are really starting to go wrong for this guy. Chavez blinking heavily. Maedas is in a bit of pain here. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! Maynus is in a bit of pain here. Oof. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Just one more clip to go. Oh. And it's another classic, this time from Desert Island Discs. With author and former jockey, Richard Francis. Water. And after chatting to her guest for nearly an hour, the presenter dares to ask this very forward question. Do you still ride dick, if only for fun? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Do you still ride Dick, if only for fun? Dick Francis there, who doesn't ride horses that often anymore. Oh, oh hang on, I found another one. Oh, Water, please. Really? Oh, it's wet today. Mm. <laughs> it's a good one today. Got your water there? Mm-hmm. Back to the fight. Done face is called time. Aina's taking a thumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Done face is called time. Aina's taking a thumb. <laughs> no one was expecting that. Aina's just going to the best of your life. Ow. Um, and that was Tiger Drew Honey on play, Innuendo Bingo. On,